Hi and welcome back. A couple of years ago, I made a video on a peel, which I actually tried for the first time in that video, called BioRepeal. BioRepeal back then was the first biphasic TCA peel, which basically means a TCA peel without the pain and without the downtime. I ended up loving BioRepeal and many of you did as well. However, unfortunately, BioRepeal no longer sells to the public. So about a year ago, I purchased a similar peel called Bien Peel. Bien Peel seemed identical to BioRepeal. It had the exact same ingredients and was used in the same way. So once more, I made a video trying Bien Peel for the first time. And in that video, I did a side to side comparison. So I applied Bien Peel to one side of my face and BioRepeal to the other side. And after I washed both peels off, I was actually quite hopeful that I had found a replacement for BioRepeal. However, once I did a few more treatments with the new peel, I liked it less and less. First of all, it was much more painful than the BioRepeal. And secondly, the results were unpredictable. After one peel, my skin <laughs> peeled like a snake, and after another, I hardly had any shedding. So unfortunately, BN Peel did not end up being a good replacement for BioRepeal, and I updated that video in the description box saying that I would not recommend BN Peel. However, so many of you keep reaching out to me, asking me, have I found a replacement yet? So. I just got this new peel right here called the Sonsu Shining Peel. Now this peel is not new. It has been around for a little while. In fact, I have heard my friend Cheryl from Yoga Girls World talk about this. But this is new to me. So in today's video, I'm going to try this for the first time with you. And if all goes well, I'm also going to try it again in seven to 10 days, because I want to make sure this time that if I like it the first time around, I will also like it the second time around and that it is indeed a good replacement for BioRepeal. But before I apply this to my face, neck and chest, let's take a look at the ingredients. So first of all, it comes in a box like this. And in the box are five vials each one containing 6 ml of a biphasic TCA peel. If you look closely, you might be able to see that there is a lipid layer on top right here. That is the lipophilic phase. And the bottom is the hydrophilic phase. The lipophilic phase contains squalene, which is a natural antioxidant and a great skin barrier support. And basically the lipophilic phase works as a buffer. And then the hydrophilic phase contains 35% TCA, which would be quite strong without having a buffer. It also contains an alpha hydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acid, and polyhydroxy acid. It does not specify which alpha hydroxy acid or beta hydroxy acid, but the polyhydroxy acid is lactobionic acid. It also contains aminobutyric acid, the vitamins C, B2 and B12, the amino acids glycine, proline and arginine. And then lastly, this also contains retinol. We don't know the percentage of retinol. It just says retinol. So the ingredients are actually quite similar to BioRepeal with a few differences. This one contains retinol and vitamin B12 which BioRepeal does not, and we don't know which alpha-hydroxy acid and beta-hydroxy acid is used in here. They do have some before and after pictures on their website showing improvements after several treatments. And according to these pictures, this peel seems to be beneficial to improve acne, overall skin tone, as well as hyperpigmentation, fine lines and elasticity, and even atopic dermatitis. Let's apply this to my face, neck and chest and see what happens, <laughs> fingers crossed. I am going to go wash my face, neck and chest 
and put on something more practical so I can actually do my chest. I will be right back. All right, I have double cleansed my face, neck and chest. Now it does say on the website to either use acetone or alcohol to remove any excess oils. However, I don't like the thought of either on my skin, but I do have these Zeo exfoliating pads right here. And these do a pretty good job of removing excess oils. So I'm just going to use one of these and wipe down my face, neck and chest really well. All right, so I have removed any excess oils. I have my peel. I have some nitrile gloves. And it is important with these kind of peels to use non-latex gloves because these peels can eat through latex. I have a syringe and I also have some Vaseline and some Q-tips. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just put a tiny bit of Vaseline right here by my nostrils because that is where my skin is usually quite sensitive and I don't really want to get any peel in this area. And I'm also going to apply some to my lips because I don't want my lips to peel either. Now, as I mentioned, I do have a syringe. This is just a generic 3ml syringe I purchased on Amazon. I will link these syringes down below. And these peels need to be pulled up with a syringe. It does recommend on the website to use a 17 gauge needle. I do have a 17 gauge needle right here, but these are difficult to find. So I'm just going to try to pull it up with this because this is easy to find and hopefully it works. And I also have a brush because it also says on the website that this peel can be applied with either gloves or a brush. So I'm going to try both. I'm going to try it on my face with gloves and then my neck and chest with a brush. And this way we have options. So first thing I'm going to do is shake up my peel. We want to make sure that the hydrophilic and the lipophilic phase mix. So we have this mixed. I'm going to open this up, pop the top, take the top of my syringe, and then I'm going to pull some air in here, stick the needle into the vial, and by pushing the air in here, this should be really easy to fill up. Beautiful. So it works just fine with this. I believe this is a 23 gauge needle. So no need to go out and purchase a 17 gauge needle. Like I said, I will link these syringes down below. And it does say for the face to use between 1.5 and 2 ml. So I'm going to pull up 2 ml and I will take the top off of this, put on my nitro gloves. I'm actually going to take my watch off so I can use that as a timer. And uh, let's do this. I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, Hopefully it won't be too bad. I just have a bit of air in here, so I'm pushing that up a little bit. Okay, so let's apply some and see what happens. I have a mirror right next to me, so if I don't look at you, I'm sorry. I want to make sure I'm not getting this in my eye. So, so far, so good. This feels quite um, watery. The bio repeal felt a bit thicker, but so far, so good. No discomfort. Now, the bio repeal we were supposed to massage in until it became sticky, which usually took quite a while. This one. Well, honestly, the um, instructions are a bit confusing. This one says to apply until absorbed, 
which makes me think that you want to massage it in. But then it also says that you can use a brush. So like I said, we will try both and see what happens and this way it'll give us options. I'm just going to, for my forehead, put it in my palm of my hand so it doesn't run into my eyes. So, so far still pretty good. I have no discomfort. It feels, I feel a tiny bit of prickling. It feels um, kind of like a, an alpha hydroxy acid, like applying an alpha hydroxy acid. Similarly to when I just used those CO exfoliating pads, which contain alpha hydroxy acids. So that's what I would say the discomfort is like right now. Just a slight tingling as if I was using an alpha hydroxy acid. So I have used 1.5 ml and I think I'm just going to stay there for now. Again, it does suggest for the face between 1.5 and 2 ml. But let's see how the 1.5 go. And I'm going to try to massage this in a bit. So this does not seem to get sticky like the bio repeal and I'm not quite sure how much I can actually massage it in. I do want to get this under my eyes, but of course not into my eyes. I also want to get it just a bit under the brows. I'm not sure how much I can actually massage this in. It does feel quite liquidy and it does feel as if it just wants to sort of stay on my face. Give it another few seconds and then I will set my timer. And I will do my neck and my chest separately. All right, I'm going to take these off and set my timer for, let's start with three minutes. It does say between three and five minutes. Let's see how three minutes go. So, so far it's prickling a little bit more. It is feeling a bit warm, but by no means would I call this pain or even discomfort. Again, it feels like a strong alpha hydroxy acid. It's getting a bit warm, it's prickling a bit, but you can see I'm not crying, I'm not fanning myself. I have seen many people do regular TCA peels, and this again contains 35% TCA. And even at 10% TCA peels, I've seen people crying and fanning themselves. This is nothing. This is just a bit of prickling and heat. And as I'm talking, it is getting a bit warmer, but I still would not call it discomfort. Let's see, we have one minute so far. So as I mentioned earlier, this contains 35% trichloric acid or TCA, as well as some amino acids, some vitamins, and even retinol. And the reason for the amino acids, vitamins and retinol, is that the TCA is supposed to drive them deeper into our skin where they then act as biostimulators. Hopefully stimulating fibroblast activity, which in turn will lead to more collagen production. So let's take a look. It has been three and a half minutes. I'm going to give this another minute and a half, then I'm going to wash it off and I will be back and do my neck and my chest. All right, I'll wash it off. And to wash it off, I just used some cold water. These peels are self-neutralizing, so water is all we need. And right now my skin feels totally fine. There is no more warmth, no more prickling. You can see I'm a bit red, but that's to be expected. So let's do my neck and my chest. Like I said, for my neck and my chest, I am going to use a brush just so we have options. And it does say for the neck, I have the instructions right here, for the neck to use between 1 and 1.5 ml, and for the decote between 2 and 2.5. There are 6 ml in here, so I'm just going to pull it all up. I'm going to shake it one more time to really make sure it's mixed nicely. Again, put some air into my syringe, and pull up the rest of this. I'm going to put this in this little dish I have right here so that I can then apply it with my brush. Okay, I have all my peel in here and I'm just going to get started. Now I know what to expect so I'm not too nervous. Though my neck 
is always a bit more sensitive than my face so let's see how it's going to feel on the neck I do like that this can be applied with a brush just in case we don't have any nitro gloves seems like an easy application this way just want to make sure you're wearing something you don't really care about getting some peel on so so far it doesn't feel any more uncomfortable than it did on the face I would say this peel is just as comfortable if not even more comfortable than the bio repeal so the bio repeal they said the paint should be on a scale from 1 to 10 the paint should be around a 3 I never found it that painful a 3 at the very very most maybe more like a 2 some of you told me you found it painful everybody has of course a different pain tolerance all right, I have everything on here now. I'm just going to use my brush to try to massage it in a tiny bit. So again, as far as discomfort or pain, I would not call this painful. On a scale from one to 10, I would call this at the most a two right now. It is warm, it is getting a bit warm and it is prickling, but and that's about it. So even on my neck, even though that is more sensitive, oh, I forgot to set my timer. Even though that is more sensitive, I would not at all call this painful. So again, I set my timer for five minutes. I'm going to wash it off after five minutes and I will be back. All right, all done, all washed off. It, it did get quite a bit warm on my neck at about minute four. And then when I washed it off, it got even warmer on my neck. It got quite hot. I wouldn't call it pain, it was just hot. But now my skin feels fine. It is of course red and feels quite dry. So I think I have one of these Calisum professional serums left. I'm not too wild about this, mostly because of the smell, but I think that is what I'm going to use right now all over my face, neck and chest, because this is very hydrating and it is for post-procedure skin. So that will feel really good. And then I will check in with you tomorrow and we'll see how my skin feels. But so far, I really don't think this was bad at all. I do think so far this is quite compatible or comparable to the bio repeal. As far as application, as far as discomfort, now we just have to see what the results are going to be. So I will check in with you tomorrow. So it is the next morning. It has been about 20 hours since I did the peel and I just did my morning skincare routine so I have some serum and some moisturizer on but no sunscreen yet so you can see my skin and nothing exciting is happening so far in fact my skin feels and looks quite nice the only thing I'm noticing is that it feels a bit tight but that's about it so I will check in with you again tomorrow it is day two and this morning when I woke up, I already had some shedding or flaking around my mouth and even under my eyes. I wish I would have shown you before I took a shower and washed my face because most of it flaked off when I washed my face. But like I said, it definitely already started to shed a bit or flake a bit. And my neck and my chest feel a bit rough. I can tell they want to start shedding or flaking as well. It doesn't feel tight anymore today, just a bit dry. It is day three. I just came back from walking Sam and I was just about to jump under the shower, but then I realized I put a bunch of tinted sunscreen on before I went outside. And I realized that you can really see the flaking quite well with the sunscreen on. And I think once I jump under the shower and wash my face, that skin is just going to come off. So I wanted to show you and it looks like it's dirt, but it's just a tinted sunscreen. I wanted to show you that I do have some good shedding or flaking all over my face. I hope you can see this. Like I said, I feel that the tinted sunscreen makes it a bit more visible. And then on my chest, my skin still feels rough, but it is starting to peel. 
and same on my neck. So I do feel that with this peel, I have gotten some great results without too much downtime. I did go out for dinner last night and my skin looked <laughs> just fine because this flaking, like I said, once I wash my face, it comes off. So I'm quite happy so far with this peel and I'm going to repeat it again this Friday, which will make it seven days. I won't show you the whole process, but I will come back on camera afterwards, letting you know how the second time went. And I will also show you my results for the days to follow after the second time, <laughs> just to make sure that this time we really have found a good replacement. So I will see you in a couple of days. So I just finished my second peel. You can see I'm still quite red. But so far I am really happy with this peel. The discomfort was very much the same as the first time, so hardly any discomfort. Again on a scale from 1 to 10, I would say a 2 at the most. But let's see if the results are consistent. So it is day four after my second peel and I have nothing on my skin right now aside from some skincare but no sunscreen or anything so you can really see my skin. The shedding and flaking has stopped and my skin feels nice and soft and no longer dry. Same on my neck and my chest. So I really like this peel. And I do think it is a great alternative to bio repeal. As far as discomfort when applying it, it's quite similar. And as far as downtime and results, and though of course I don't know the long term results yet, but as far as downtime and short term results, it's also quite similar. In fact, was bio repeal still available and I had to choose between the two, I would choose this peel because first of all, I like the addition of retinol. Again, we don't know the percentage of retinol this peel contains, but I'm a big fan of retinoids, so I do like the addition of retinol. I also like that it can easily be pulled out of the vial without having to purchase separate needles. I like that it can be applied with a brush, and this peel is half of the price of BioRepeal. I got my Sonsu Shining Peel on Lux Lip Lab and a box of five is $221, which comes down to $200 with my discount code. And the nice thing is that you can also purchase just one vial if you want to try the peel first. So I'm super excited to have found an alternative to buy your repeal. And I'm going to do what they suggest which is to do four to six peels between seven and 12 days apart and then take at least a three months break. Now I know some of you are going to ask me if this peel can be microneedled into the skin. And to be honest, I don't know. I did search their website, but couldn't find any information on that. However, the one time I microneedled by a repeal into my skin, I really did not think it was worth the extra discomfort as far as results. So I only did it one time. Again, I didn't think it was worth it. So I hope this video was helpful. I would love to know, have you tried this peel? And if so, how did you like it? Any questions or comments, of course, please leave them down below. You know, I always love to hear from you. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time, bye.